playing against uh, kind of s- semi-pro players in a college level, and it's like, you know, if he gets beat, so he beats, he's expected to almost beat everybody. Yeah. But if he gets beat, it's like, oh, man, that's the guy who beat Hawk. It's like oh, almost wow, like, who's, who's this dude? Yeah, so, I mean, it's almost like, I would feel yeah. like it's like you got nothing to, you got everything to lose almost, but, yeah. I mean. Your nerd cred would go up by a ton. Oh, yeah, beat. yeah, so. But here we go, Mosfet spawning in the top right as the Red Terran from Auburn. His opponent from Emory, the Blue Terran, spawning in the bottom left on Cloud Kingdom. And this one is for all the marbles. Yeah, true. I mean, this is a similar map to Ohana. Maybe a little bit less of a air distance, maybe a little wider. But it's, I, I would expect similar, che- that, not cheesy, but really early, early, early aggression. aggression. Yeah. Well, so unlike Ohana, this one does have a lot more area, surface area for, like, Reaper play or something like that, so... Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you can come down anywhere through here, but, you know, Reaper play is kind of, kind of phased out, not for any metagame changes, or not for any game changes, but just kind of the metagame has gone against it. Well, and they're still used every now and then, I think, uh, who was it, Keen versus... Let's see, Keen... Oh, I think I know what game you're talking about, yeah. Heart? Keen versus Heart? I... On Antigua Shipyard? I think it was used there, and that was, yeah, I mean, that was a big game. I mean, GSL, so. Yeah. Alright, let's see, gas going down. No gas for Jay yet, so maybe he'll yeah. go for a I macro build. I would like to see that. I'd like to see a late game macro style, I mean, who doesn't love a macro game, especially in mirror matchups? Because, like, I mean, you, two things happen in a, two things can happen in a late game mirror matchup. Either they go the exact same build and it becomes goes down to, okay, who's got the bigger supply and who's got the better engage, or they're two completely different builds and that's whenever it's really Oh! Fun. Oh! oh and he's that scouting wow. SCB. That's, that's a that's a big early advantage. Yeah, I mean, that that is. It's just one small thing in Jay's favor, so... There we go. Let's see. One axe fast expand, probably. There we go. Yep. And it goes down. Or, uh, command center down. So. Uh oh. Jay's got to get this SCP out of there, though. Or else... Does he know? Oh god, SCP is too fast. SCP too strong. Yeah. Nerf SCP. Nerf SCP. Yeah. Well, they've done that once already. Let's not give them any ideas. <laughs> Terran doesn't need any more nerfs. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what everybody says about their main race. Well, no, I mean, but now, honestly, did you see the new Team Liquid uh, player database stats for July? I have not, no. It was uh, for every TBZ. The only map where Terran had a positive win rate was Ohana. There were maps like Entombed Valley and Antigua Shipyard where Terran had like a 20% win rate in Terran with Well, hopefully for MOSFET and Jay, they can overcome those uh, odds. Yeah, tonight, I mean, because I mean, they they're both going to be going against a Zerg opponent, regardless of which place they finish. And whoever gets Hawk, you know, that's top top tier Zerg opponent. So here we go again with that same pressure from Mosfet Sans Hellion. Well, uh, the Hellion's on its way, but I mean, I think Jay really knows his stuff now. He already put that bunker down. He knows what's up. He knows it's, that attack is coming. And this is not going to do anything at all. Yeah, well, so it's that four four marine, one SCV pressure that he loves to do. And there's already a bunker down, so these marines are going to have better range. They're going to be able to just... And he's going to poke in, see the bunker, and be like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> oh, wow, he didn't even lose any health. That's good. Yeah, that was smart. Oh, no! No, no, no! Oh. <laughs> that was so close. Here we go, though, again. More Banshees coming up for Mosfet. God, he and, just uh, loves Banshee playing TBT. Yeah, I mean, it's good, certainly, but... But when, he, to the point where it's almost predictable, so... Yeah, it's a bit predictable. He needs to definitely be careful of that, so... Jay needs to put reactors down, like, right away. Yeah, he's like, got the tech lab down. Uh, he, Jay, there, there he go, goes, one, one reactor down. He just doesn't have the gas for it right now. He's just... just well, he just got his gas. combat shield. So, yeah, he, he gets combat shield first. Which in That's a, a little bit of personal preference. Well, against Marine versus Marine, that's, again, whenever it's mirrored mirrored uh, units, just having that extra upgrade makes a huge world of difference. Yeah, and it does come a lot earlier than tech, er, than Stimpak, so it's good against early aggression. Well, it's a whole minute it, ahead, so... Yeah, the, the only thing that 
I've ever, you know, I go stim first against a lot of builds because against Banshee builds specifically. Yeah, you can stem in, get under them, yeah, and just stim in, annihilate it. Just, it you know? Yeah, it helps a lot with some pushes. But... Well, it seems like uh, Jay really favors the turrets over really having to, he, he'd rather throw down a couple of turrets to push off a Banshee as opposed to um, trying to get a stim rain. Is this, oh, is yeah, the turret oh, going to no. be up in so time? Finish. Oh, oh, wow. No, it has one not. second. Oh, and oh, he gets another the one. The other one. Wow, but there it goes. Does oh, finish. Go. And uh, that Banshee, though, three kills. That Banshee's doing a lot of damage. Five kills. Five kills. Oh, and now he's going to be able to go down here. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of energy, but... Yeah. He needs to stay. There he goes. He needs to start sniping those... Uh... Oh, and look at this push from Mosfet. This is going to be so deadly. He's already got a tank out there. Siege Tech just now starting. That Banshee is going to be pushed out, but still alive. Oh, and a second Banshee. Kills. Oh, man, this is... But, I mean, he's... That's good turret placement from Jay. That, that very covers good a, turret placement. a lot more than, than it looks like. And he's going to be able to... Oh, oh is he going to snipe these mules that just went down? That would be good. That oh, would be... one mule gets out with 12 wow. hit points. But huge, huge worker damage right now. Six workers killed for uh, for Mosfet. That Banshee needs to be careful. Oh, he takes one volley from the uh, turret. Mosfet does have this field repair SCV. He's gonna be able to heal up this uh, these Banshees. Look, that first Banshee's already back at full health. Wow. No. And now he's got. Oh wow. Siege. Two siege tanks moving in. Uh, no siege yeah, tanks siege for Jay. Fun. This is so bad. I think oh, Mosfet yeah. has this game for sure. Neither player has stem right now, but uh, Mosfet is in such a good position. Oh, he could use those Banshees just to snipe off SEVs that are repairing that yep. bunker. Oh, he's got a few seconds up before there's another scan available. There we go. Oh, is he going to drop yeah. it? He's dropped this stand and killed oh. his Banshee. Wow. It's, he oh, it's doesn't wait. even get oh, it. Oh, he, he did get some good damage on it though but that SCV but will there, be there to repair it. Oh, almost lost the second Banshee too. And here's an expansion from Mosfet. Yeah, but he, yeah, so here's the deal. Mosfet is just able to just sit here and shell out and just basically do whatever he wants. He can leave these units here. Um, eventually Jay will have to s There we go. Push here it in, comes. And here it comes. Oh, I don't think he can kill it. I don't. So no, he I think Jay oh, should wow. maybe waited a little bit longer until he had Stem or something. Stem just 30 seconds from completing. Yeah, he definitely should have waited for Stem, but 17 workers killed by Mosfet right now. That is a huge, huge advantage. Yeah. And, Jay and I mean, that just nullifies the advantage Jay had from doing this one racks expand. Oh, here we oh, go. Here, here comes goes. the push. SCV's out front. Oh, wow. Cleans How much time? Is... Two seconds oh. left until Stem is done. You just get up on this tank right away. He's taking Can a lot of damage. It? No, he does get it, but at what cost? Man, lost so much there. But, I mean, that was Mosfet's pretty much only army. Another tank. Oh, no, the no. siege tank. Oh, goodness, oh, Jay. Gosh. Oh, he, uh, he picks two of them up. That was a good play by Jay, saving as much as he can. But... He just should not have engaged that. Man, he just moved right down the ramp, and that was uh, not necessarily the best move. But... Jay needs to drop. That would be deadly. Well, so here's here's the advantage to Jay's army. He can replenish it so quickly, just churning out five marines at a time yep. and uh, two medvacs at a time, where if we look at Mosfet, he's he's getting medvacs one at a time if he's not building banshees, and um, he's only able to build marines three at a time right now. Here comes the big drops. Oh, yeah. Although he doesn't have very many marines in there. I mean, Still, five medvacs like... with... Um, it would crush that, this army because these marines are completely unupgraded and he'd have to unseach these tanks, move them all the way across the map in order to in order to stop it. So I think that this could do a lot of damage. At the very least it'll stop all upgrades. Oh yeah, definitely. And it looks like here comes the drop. Oh and a second right drop on the drop engineering back. base. Oh, very nice. Just multitasking all over the place, and he is going to clean up the armor upgrade. Oh, this Banshee needs to cloak. Where's the Ooh. cloak? Oh, cloak's just in time, but there goes the scan. One Banshee down. Second Banshee goes down. But uh, will he be able to clean this up? He's got a nice concave with those Marines. Oh, he does clean it up. 
But there's a drop at the second. The drop gets cleaned up immediately, though. There, those tanks never move. I think, you know, Jay was... I think he was kind of banking on the siege tanks being pulled back as well. Definitely. With three siege tanks there, yeah, you're not going to be able to drop at all. No, maybe he should have even tried to to drop onto the siege tanks, but I just think that he was kind of... He queued up that, that attack and then left it and didn't really micro it at all, which is normal. That's nothing... Just, you know, just nothing bad. But a third base going down for Jay, really fast. That's good. He's got such a mobile, a mobile army that he can really take base so much faster. And he can defend so much better too. He can just move over, move over, pick up, move off. And uh, like I said earlier, he can replenish this army so quickly with all those marines. It's, oh, a, wow, it's, it's a cheap, effective army that he's got. And is he gonna do this drop again? There are no, there are no turrets anywhere in this base. So. This might actually do a lot of damage. Well, so he needs to deal damage. He needs to get enough units down to um, negate those units that are already there from the last drop. Yeah, he really needs to... Oh, he's got to be a little bit careful. If, if MOSFET responds in time, he can snipe at least one. Oh, oh wow, why is oh, it? MOSFET's him... putting down a fourth command center? Is Ooh, that... He needs to be careful. Oh, man. Yeah, he is double expanding right now? Jeez. Yeah, I mean, Jay, there's no way Jay is going to be able to get into this base, though. This is really yeah. where uh, kind of a mecking... It's not really going mech, but he's got more mech than than Jay does. But this is where it becomes really strong, because you can just turtle like no other and just get up to that ridiculous army that you can't engage with the bio army at all. Yeah, you're basically just throw waves and waves of marines against siege tanks and, and get they nowhere. Don't, yeah, they, they won't do anything at all. Well, if we look at the production tab right now, uh, Jay is up on upgrades, so he will have that advantage. But um, does he have siege tanks? He does have siege mode, so trying to get his own siege tanks out. But uh, Mosfet is already ahead. Yeah, I think Jay's over. job right now is really to just deny this third base. He saw those two command centers, and so he just needs to deny this third base and just keep his alive and get these upgrades, try and get a contain off, because he's not going to be able to push in at all. He just needs to poke, poke, poke at the outskirts of Mosfet's army and not do a full-on engage, because he will lose a straight-up engage against all these siege tanks. And, and even now, Mosfet doing a great job of Preemptively defending. You know, he's got bunkers going down. He's got a big yeah, siege he, tank wall. He's definitely in defense mode right now. He did a lot of good early aggression with those 27 workers killed, and now he's just sitting back and saying, all right, Jay, you come to me. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs to do. He man he's secured this third base with oh, no... He needs oh. to, no, he does not need to push into that. Oh, those siege tanks taking big hits there. Oh, but... Uh, MOSFET doesn't need to come down either, so... Here you go, Jay needs to take another base. Yeah, there we go, right now. And he needs to just start tacking up till the late game. This bio, this bio army is not going to do anything. The more tanks that MOSFET gets... Oh, oh there we go, he gets snipes the, the Banshee. Banshee. but wastes a second scan. Didn't need that second scan to kill the Banshee, but does get the Banshee nonetheless. And uh, where is the, there is that fourth base? So he yeah, has right caught up on the worker count, though. So it is 53, and actually taking the lead now, 53-57. And um, if we go to the income tab, oh, a drop coming down from us, but there it is, just eight marines. And right now, income advantage going to MOSFET for the uh, minerals. And is he going to see it? I don't think he's going to see it. Oh yeah, this this could do some really this could oh, do some damage. Yeah, absolutely could. I mean, there are no units. The units are at the natural, and it's gonna take them a little while to get there. Snipes that going SUV. Straight for SUVs. Yeah, and he's just gonna kill even more workers. He almost needs to just pick up and go. Yeah, Jenny snipes the medevac. Oh, can he get the medvac? Oh, he wants to get that medvac so bad. He needs that would have done. Uh, oh, what is he doing? Oh, why is he Masa, pushing back leave. in? Ah. Leave, Masa. Pick up and go. Survive. Pick up and go. Survive. 
So yeah, I mean that did damage, and maybe not critical damage, but Bro, it did enough. Gonna get cleaned up by Jay. It's just keeping Jay in check, you know. Yeah. Getting his nerves up, like maybe he'll, you know, MOSFET is so, maybe thinking, oh, he's gonna. So many he's siege gonna crack. tanks for MOSFET. Yeah. Wow. This is just. Look at this army. Just it's huge. Beautiful spread of siege Maxed tanks out. There. Maxed out. 30 supply ahead of Jay, and Jay's on a bio army, that's incredible. Oh no, and he's gonna get all these tanks. One more hit. Oh wow, oh, this takes one hit. Never mind. That was a good scan right there, to be yeah. able to immediately just decimate those siege tanks. Or that one right. siege tank. But that fourth base already down for yeah. MOSFET. MOSFET is absolutely outplaying Jay this game, well, no doubt about he's it. He's just banking right now, so that's all he's doing. He's gonna get some more production, and he's just banking. I mean, he's maxed out. Nothing left to do. He's gonna let uh, Jay come to him. Yeah, Jay's gotta be really careful. He cannot suicide into this army because he will just instantly lose the game. Yeah, because MOSFET, he's got the, he's got the units to, he's got the money to be able to replenish that army so quickly. Where uh, Jay is just trying to get maxed out right now. I wonder why Mosfet sent all those marines down there. I Not think he was really sure. I feel like he was intending to suicide them to free up supply, but he ended up not. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Jay clumping all of his tanks together. Yeah, that's a little bit bad. I mean, but he's not going to be able to push this base at all. And with some weird marine positioning by Mosfet in this fourth base. Like in behind the yeah SP behind the middle guys, right I don't now. know. <laughs> Not really sure what they're doing there, but I think that might have like, been an accident. Looks like Mosfet going to be moving out with a push of his with a drop of his own, and currently both team both players are uh, 200 200 right now. Now Jay does have an upgrade advantage with 3 3 and 1 0 over 1 0 and 2 2 of uh, Mosfet, and it looks yeah. like all of Jay's army is now in the middle. And where did that drop go? Yeah, I lost it. Oh, here it is. There we go. It was over that there it is. It's coming down behind the fourth right now. Yeah, that's going to be huge. Oh, no, it's going to go right over this missile turret. It might even die if, if oh, MOSFET if doesn't, doesn't spawn to be you. Oh, oh, what? What? <laughs> no way. That was Spidey Sense. MOSFET, that guys, you heard it here first. MOSFET is a map hacker. <laughs> wow. That was ridiculous. MOSFET, that was perfect. Oh, he, he doesn't even drop on that planetary fortress. MOSFET is playing so well this oh, game. Oh, man, MOSFET picks up even a siege tank with that cloaked banshee. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's just playing so well right now. MOSFET from crazy. Auburn just doing so, so well. And he's going to pick up that SCV and that missile turret. There he goes. And just look how many command centers he has. Really soon, he's going to be able to just suicide all of his SCVs and max out with such a large army. Well, Jay now finally having to clean up that uh, that drop that was down there that was just so, so good. And There's just a banshee chilling. Just chilling out in what the natural. What does he do? How did it get there? I, I, oh, he's going to go back around here and start trying to pick off some stuff. I would maybe, maybe assume force a miss scan. Really? Oh, wow. Jay tried to tried to get some worker kills but got cleaned up immediately by those tanks. Wow, just MOSFET all over it on this game. He's got a 4.3k 4 bank of minerals, 3k bank of Vespine. I mean, Jay's not too far behind him, but uh, I mean, MOSFET's got more bases. If you look at the income right now, actually pretty even on the income. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, MOSFET's going to have a surge though, with all the orbitals going down. He's got so many scans. He's got. Uh, he's gonna be able to just mule like crazy. Let's see. I mean, he's doing such a good job of defending all over the map. Like maybe these four siege tanks, five siege tanks can't hold everything off, but they'll be able to delay by so much and do a ton of damage. So. Mosfet's in a really, really safe position right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, I mean, he's doing such a good job with his army composition right now. I mean, he's, like you said, he doesn't have enough to necessarily annihilate Jay's army, but he has enough to stop Jay from really pushing hard at one at one spot. And there we go. Scans going down all over the map for uh, Mosfet. He wants to keep uh, eyes on that army of Jay. He's already Are sieged up. Oh, it looks I like mean, here we go. He's got a lot of pie up right now. Oh, There's the wow. stem. 
Oh. Put the pullback. The only thing is, he has a lot of bio grabbing, absolutely zero metabacks. He's no metabacks anyway. Oh, and wow, that could actually be a really to... big disadvantage. I mean, uh, Jay's got nine metabacks of his own. And so MOSFET might be in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, it seems like he was trying to go for a really good build and then just had bio with I don't know, like he, he has all the kids for a stupid mech build, but he doesn't even have air superiority. Like maybe, you know, Jay doesn't have Vikings, but Jay has Metabacks, which are air units, and uh -oh, Masa doesn't know. Jay's working on a fusion core, and he's got three tech labs going down for uh, the starports in between his fourth and his third. And uh, this is this is going to come down to all positioning. I mean, yeah, I think so. You're maxed out. It's all going to come down to positioning, and right now, MOSFET's got the good positioning over the uh, fourth base of he Jay, does. but here it goes. There's the stim. Oh, no, he's got a big clump of Marines not doing anything in the back oh, here. Wow. Oh, wow, Jay cleans this up Jay cleans so it up well. in one huge siege tank volley. This oh, is man. really, really bad for MOSFET. Push. Oh, the, this is not looking good for MOSFET. He's got a couple of siege tanks out and about. <laughs> GG's already, wow. Uh, he should have just, he should have stayed, I think. Yeah, I, wa I wanted to see the battle cruisers. I mean, I don't, he wasn't, wow.